Trimontium Trust has done a fantastic job in energising this amazing Roman site in the borders. Trimontium, the place of the three hills, is the most important Roman site we have in Scotland because of the preservation of material and because of its pivotal strategic setting. The Trust has made that come alive. It, in a way, it doesn't compare with the British Museum and the Royal Museum in Edinburgh and so on. But in other ways, it's much better because these things arise through passion. And Donald Gordon and Walter Elliott and all the people who began this deserve enormous praise because they were giving their time, they were giving their passion, they were giving their love for, for knowledge. And also, they had such curiosity about where they lived and the past. And so I think the warmth and the personal nature of what you get here at Trimontium is, I think it's immeasurably valuable. Trimontium, I think, is part of the life of Melrose in, in a way that I find very exciting and wonderful. I also think that to have a little snapshot of maybe just one period um, and to do it in detail is sometimes easier to grasp and more valuable to you when, you, when you're going around a small museum than in a big one where you, you just get dazed by the amount of stuff. Trimontium is one of my favourite places. The hills were, were kind of my playground. I used to run around them, I used to walk all over them, and I was always dreaming about um, you know, what had gone on here. I don't, but when I came to Melrose, I realised the significance of Trimontium and, and how important it is in, in, in the context of Scottish history, and especially Scottish history in Roman times. You know, this has been one of the most vital places in Scotland. Archaeology, in spite of what some people may think, is not, it's not a subject that stands still. And you have to tell that story differently. You have to, to move with the changing information at our fingertips and you have to also move in the way that we present it to the public. There's a bigger story to be told and there is no other museum in Scotland dedicated to the Romans in this area. I think the parade helmets are some of the most incredible things we have and the one I love is the iron parade helmet because it has this complicated story. Four different owners, each of them modifying, sexing up the helmet as they acquired it, putting their owner's inscription on the back of it. So it's not just a wonderful work of art, not just a great piece of military equipment, it shows you the people behind this story. So for me, that's one of the fundamental things from the site. I have been field walking in Trimontium for 60 years and a wee bit. One of the first really good things was in 66, when I found a wee Roman intaglio. But I could tell by the type of stone this was in the carving that this was the period of 205 to 207. I looked at that thing for every night for at least three months. It was terrific. To come here years ago as a boy um, to Newstead and look in the field um, where the fort was. Um, to be able now to sit as the chairman and, and help um, the organisation move to this next phase, it's, it's a great privilege. Hopefully we can move now to that new phase of, of development and delivery so that we can keep the public interested in what the Iron Mage meant to Scotland, how it, how it formed the sort of personality of, of who we are. This, for me, is uh, the opportunity to pay tribute to the people who have gone before, particularly uh, Donald Gordon, who has conceived and generated the whole of the, uh, the trust, not only the museum, but also the outreach activities. Uh, the, the trust was set up in November 1988, and I've been involved since then, almost 30 years. We were very lucky to have use of this room in a public building in Melrose, and the site is a mile away. How do you link the, the museum with the site? They devised the walk, and the thing has just grown. Trimontium needs to succeed. It's been a success for the last 25 years. It needs to succeed for the next 25. This is a fantastic place, a fantastic site. It will be an amazing museum. We have had a very successful 25 years, but, but things do move on and it's time for us to, to, to move with the times. I would like to wish you all the best for your fundraising. You deserve to, to make this work 
and I think it'll be a fabulous place. I think it'll be one of the must-go-to places in Scotland once you do your work. Good luck with the great cause of raising money for Trimontium. Um, I wish you all the best and every success. Well, I really hope that the Trimontium Trust get all the cash and more that they need to build a proper museum here in Melrose to tell what's a fantastic story in a place that wasn't really thought to be Roman at all. And indeed, maybe it'll show how un-Roman it was as well as how Roman it was. <laughs>